What's going on, Met Squad? It's Met Seven Games, and today's video won't be opening any cards. I wanted to show you guys um, my complete first edition uh, collection um, from base set. Now, this isn't really going to be part of what I'm showing today, but I kind of wanted to show you guys this pack art uh, just to kind of show you where it all started. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys all 102 first edition base set shadowless cards uh actually there's more than 102 i actually have some variants so i'll be showing you guys those so definitely leave a like if you guys enjoy first edition base set here we just have a uh, this is part of my collection it's actually technically up for sale not sure uh if i actually will let it go or not we'll see but this is a first edition base set booster pack uh here it is right here it says right there newer case this is a mint nine I uh, got it for a pretty good price a while back. Uh, I know the Gem Mint 10s go for a little bit, but I thought it was pretty cool to have for the collection. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll set this to the side. I'm gonna show you guys every single card, PSA graded, for the uh, first edition base set. So we're gonna start off with the trainer cards, and we're gonna start off with the trainer cards. So this is a rare Clefairy doll. Very nice. And you'll notice the grade. I went with the budget option. I uh, could have went with nines or tens, but for my price, I'm not really going for um, the highest price or resale. I'm really going for the nostalgia and keeping it for my collection. So uh, that's why I chose to go with PSA 8. And uh, they'll still increase over time. They won't be worth as much as the nines or tens, but I mean, for me, they're perfectly fine near mint to mint is good enough for my collection, um, you know, for my personal collection. So there it is, Cliff Fairy Doll. We'll try to move through them quick. So like I said, we'll start off with all the trainers. Here we have a computer search. You see the symbol there. Some of these, most of them are thick stamp. There are some thin stamps. I'll show you the difference in what I mean. Uh, like this right here is a thick stamp. You could tell by the number one. It's a devolution spray. These are, so far, they're all the rare energies. We got a Imposter Professor's Oak. I really like this card a lot. I love the way it looks. And then after this, we'll go on to the Pokemon, and then we'll do the Hollows last. So if you guys don't want to see any of these cards, no problem. Just speed up a little bit and get to the Hollows. Here we have an Item Finder. This is a good card in the deck, for sure. Recently started playing some old school uh, Pokemon base set with my buddy. Uh, it's pretty fun. I had never really, here we have a last played um, growing up. I just used to collect the cards. But now I'm recently getting into actually playing the game. And it's a whole lot of fun, I gotta say. That's why I got this cool play mat. It's a two player play mat. We flip it around. Here we have a Pokemon Breeder. I always liked this card when I was a kid. We won't spend too much time on these. Pokemon Trader. Scoop up. These are still rares. A lot of rares in non hollow rares in base set. A lot of good cards though, like this card right here, Super Energy Removal. Awesome card. If you're playing against Blastoise, <laughs> take away those uh, water energies. Here we go, have a Defender. And this is a gray stamp. Not too, too gray, but if you see the difference between the stamps, see the darkness in that versus the lightness there. So this is the uncommon. So now we're going into the uncommons. Energy retrieval. And um, as I go through these cards, I guess I'll tell you exactly how I got these. Most of these I got on eBay, just like, you know, finding guys selling them cheap or doing auctions. There was one guy that did an auction of all PSA 8, so I was, I was like, it was perfect opportunity. So I, I basically went in there, put in my highest offer for all of them, and I think I got like, <laughs> I wanna say 20 or 30 cards from one guy just to complete a bunch of commons and uncommons. Real cheap pricing. I mean, I'm talking some of these cards were like $5, which was unbelievable. Um, you know, if I'm reselling them, I'm selling them for over 20. So, you know, value-wise, I got a really good deal on a lot of cards. Um, and then as far as the holographics and things like that, um, I picked those up. It's, yep, still uncommon, Pokemon Floop. I picked them up off of uh, some on eBay, some on Instagram, 
Um, some from Dave and Adams. Uh, I messaged a guy there and he gave me some deals on a few holographics that he had up on sale. I just put an offer in and he wrote me back and they accepted it, so that was really cool. Um, here we have a Professor Oak. This one is actually, was kind of hard to get, believe it or not. It was took me a while to find it at a decent rate for PSA 8. I don't know why, there was a lot of nines, but this is a good card, really good card. Discard your hand, then draw seven cards. That was really good <laughs> back in the day. Still would be today. Here's a Revive, and this is still an Uncommon. Super Potion, and I'll speed it up a little bit. Bill, this is actually a really low pop in eight. I wanna say there's only like 22 or 23 car, um, bills in PSA 8, which is pretty cool to think about because that means it could only be a potential 22 or 23, uh, maybe it's a little more than that now, people in the world that can really actually have a PSA 8 complete set, which, I mean, I know it's an eight, but still, it's kind of cool to think about. Uh, energy removal, now we're in the commons actually. I think starting with Bill. Gust of Wind, this was a good card. Really good for a common. <laughs> Potion. We got Switch, and now we're gonna move into the energies. So the first card is the double colorless energy, first edition. It was used in some decks, but um, not any decks that I've been playing with have needed that. If we got the Fighting Energy, you can tell their first edition by the 1995, 96, 98, and 99. Uh, I think once it went to Uncommon, not Uncommon, Unlimited, after Shadowless, not the first edition, just Shadowless, um, they removed that 99. And the picture's a little different. We've got a Fire Energy. These energies were cheap. I, got, I think I got these for like a few dollars each. Uh, off the same guy. Although the water energy, for some reason, was a little more. That was like, I don't know, six or seven dollars I think I paid for it, which, you know, whatever. <laughs> that was cheap. Psychic, and there's that water energy. Oop, almost dropped the Psychic. There it is. So let me just cut real quick. I'm gonna go get the Pokemon cards, uh, the non holo cards, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna start off with some Pokemon now cards. Uh, we're done with the trainers. We're going to start off with the uncommons. We got the Arcanine. Absolutely love this card. Really awesome. And just for, you know, for you guys that don't know, here's the non-shadow for the shadowless of what they say. And there's the first edition symbol. This was actually the last card I needed to complete the entire collection. So um, that was awesome. When I saw this come up for, for, um, for sale, I threw an offer and immediately almost full price and just got it right there on the spot. <laughs> I just didn't want to waste any time. I just wanted to complete my set. Uh, so that was awesome. I love that card. So that'll always be, um, I'll always remember that. Got it on eBay. And I think after that, I want to say like a few came up on eBay right after that. So I was cracking up, <laughs> waiting all that long. It took me about four or five months. Here's Charmeleon, love this card. One of my favorite uncommons. Probably my favorite uncommon. Um, took me about not too long to complete the set. I want to say about three or four months of just continuously just searching out people, selling the cards, and I really wanted to, you know, I'm pretty impatient when I want to get something. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna overspend, but I will definitely search and search and get it um, when I need it. So here's a dugong. I think I got this off of, um, where did I get it on? It was a different selling app. It wasn't even eBay. I think it was uh, Macari. <laughs> I just happened to check it and boom, there was a dugong and I got it, I don't know, it was like 10 bucks or less. Here's a Dratini. And value-wise, I definitely spent less than it's probably worth today. Um, I don't know exactly what this whole complete set would be worth now. I haven't really looked at current prices. I know Charizard went up a little bit. Here's a Farfetch'd. Absolutely love this card. I actually had a first edition raw card. Probably my only first edition card growing up. I got it, obviously, probably just during trade or whatever when I was a kid. I think I sold it, I don't know, for like 10, 11 bucks, maybe a couple years ago. Um, but here I am now with a complete <laughs> set. Well, that was before I thought I was never going to do this. Here's Growlithe. I think this is a low pop 2 and 8. I want to say this is less than 30, I want to say. I got to check. Here we have a Haunter. Have, oh my god, so much nostalgia in this Haunter. Like, I loved it when I pulled this card as a kid. 
Ivysaur. There's another one that was kind of hard to get, a low pop. Um, took me a while. This was one of the last cards I needed. I think it was like this card, Machoke, and Arcanine, I think were like my last three that I needed, but got it for a good price. I think I got it on eBay as well. Jinx. I actually have two of these. I got one up for sale on my eBay account. Um, as you could tell, new PSA case. I decided to, you know, to replace any of the old PSA cases. Maybe that's kind of sounds crazy to some of you, but I wanted them all to be the same new case because they stack up well with each other too. And they have that different backing too, which I love. Here we have a Kadabra. Banned card right there, unfortunately. Well, banned Pokemon. You'll probably never see a Kadabra again, unfortunately. Kakuna. Yeah, some of these uncommons were super cheap. I got an auction. Uh, Machoke. Love this card. Mm -hmm. Magikarp. Which is funny, it's an uncommon, but it is. <laughs> Basic Pokemon there. Magmar. Love that card. All these cards are amazing. I, I just... <laughs> Arita was an awesome illustrator. Nidorino. He did a lot of these cards. Uh, they just... They, nothing beats these. I mean, I love the Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. Those might be my... It's probably my favorite artworks, but I mean, this just brings back the most nostalgia. Poliwhirl. I think that's the illustrator's favorite Pokemon. Right? Ken Sugiri, um... Sugimori. Yeah, Ken Sugimori. I think that's his favorite Pokemon. Or maybe the uh, creator, yeah. Porygon. Eradicate. I used to love that. <laughs> Question mark. Awesome. Seal. I always thought it was funny that Seal was an uncommon. War Total. This has got to be probably my favorite War Total card ever. Absolutely love it. This is a thick stamp. I haven't been paying attention. If I come across a thin stamp, I'll show you guys. There's a lot of thin stamp hollows. I know I have some of those. Abra. So now we're into the commons. Bulbasaur, we got a starter. Love it. These cards go for a good amount. I mean, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, they go for uh, probably close to 50 bucks. I mean, you might be able to get them cheaper than that, but the starters go for money. And I don't know, that was when I got them. Who knows what they are now? Caterpie. Charmander, my absolute favorite. I recently tried to purchase a gray stamp. Uh, Charmander. I want to say it was a PSA 9 or 10. It might have been 10. Um, but guy ended up being a scammer. <laughs> Sent me an Evolutions Charizard. Got my money back. Uh, that was crazy. That was on eBay. So, careful guys. Always film your openings. If you feel the package and it feels like it's not supposed to be, yeah. Chances are somebody sent you what you didn't purchase. Uh, here's a Diglett. Doduo, good card in decks. I use it in decks with the free retreat cost. Always good to have that in there. Drowsy. Ghastly, love this old Ghastly card. Kind of funny, it was like, like a 3D animation compared to all the other artworks. I always thought it looked funny as a kid. I actually prefer the fossil version better. Coughing. And here we go with a Machop. Uh, yeah, it's not really a gray. It's like slightly gray compared to the other ones, but I wouldn't really consider that a gray stamp. Magnemite. Pretty funny, actually. Magnemite was my very, very first Pokemon card. I mean, some of you guys have been watching me since I started making videos. That I think I shared that in one of my first videos. But yeah, Magnemite was my first Pokemon card. That's what got me into it. Magnemite and a, I think an energy card somebody gave me when I was like in third grade. And I had already been watching the animation or anime rather on Saturdays. And um, shortly after that, I got the Game Boy games. But yeah, that's where it all started. Nidoran, the male. Onyx. Again, with a slight light gray. Slight gray, like you can't really see it, 
well in here, but if I compared it to another one. So most of the commons, it looks like, are all thick stamp, pretty much. I don't know of any thin stamp ones. Oh, so here's a variant. Um, Yellow Cheek Pikachu. So there's 102 cards in the set, but really 103 if you want to do the variant of the Pikachu. And sure, there's, there's other variants as well, but um, yeah, there's a Yellow Cheek, and there's the Red Cheek. This one goes for more money. Um, this one probably goes for about 80 bucks maybe now, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I definitely paid less than that. I want to say I paid like 50 bucks, maybe less um, somehow. But anyways, yeah, there's a Red Cheek. There's the yellow cheek. So if anybody ever wondered what people were referring to, that's what it was. Uh, so that goes on top. Keep that in order. Polywag. <laughs> I had to repurchase this. I accidentally bought a nine uh, in an auction. It was the same guy selling all the eights that I was mentioning earlier in the video. And uh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just concentrating because everything was ending soon. And I bid on it. And then it ended up being a nine. I felt like a jerk, but I, um, the guy was nice. He took it back, got me a refund. Um, I'm sure, I think I purchased more off of him anyways to make up for it. So, Ponyta. To go to Raticate, or Ratata, excuse me. Ratata, Ratata, I don't know. Ratata. <laughs> we got a Sand True. Love this card. This pile's getting really big. Let me put that over there. There we go. Squirtle, here we go, another fan favorite. Love this card. Somebody recently painted one of these. It came out amazing. I should probably pick one up, but I don't know. Maybe not. We got Star Me. This was always the weirdest thing to me. Star Me, and then we got Star You. They're both commons, <laughs> and this one comes before it in the set. I don't, I don't get that. Kind of weird. Uh, it should be the other way around. Maybe that was an error. Tangela. This video is getting a little long, guys, so I'll try to speed it up. Voltorb. We got the error Vulpix. Uh, it said HP 50. I think Metapod was like that, too. I, I passed that one already, but you can see the difference. Usually it's the number and then the HP. This one's HP 50. They eventually corrected it. I want to say it was like, I don't know, fourth or fifth print or something like that. We got a Weedle. So that's it for the commons, and I got the rares up next. There's not too many non hollow rares. First we got Beedrill, love this card. Hated it in Evolutions because I would always pull it when I wanted a good card, but <laughs> awesome for uh, this set. PSA 10 goes for a lot. I don't want to say a PSA 10 goes for over $1,000. That's crazy, really crazy. Uh, then we got Dragonair. This is the best, probably the most expensive um, non hollow rare. My, definitely my favorite. Uh, I want to say a PSA 10 goes for well over $1,000, I think. I don't know what it's at now. It, I could be way off. It could be even more than that, but I'd have to check. We have a Dodrio. Electabuzz. I would say by far the best rare in terms of playing the game. I mean, with the 70 HP for a basic Pokemon, I mean, I used to... Oh my god, I'm killing it right now with my deck. I have a... Uh, I have a Hitmonchan Electabuzz deck right now, and it's just like, kind of like, the best deck you can get. <laughs> I should probably build a weaker one to be more fair, but it's fun. I like playing it. Electrode, another good card. You can use this card like an energy. It makes two energies with this uh, Buzz Zap. So you can put this in a Zapdos deck. I actually have that deck built uh, as well as a backup. And then last but not least, another really awesome card, Pidgeotto. Loved Pidgeot out of the whole Evolution line. I would say Pidgeotto is my favorite just because of the uh, anime. And this one, this has got like a smudge, if you can see on the stamp. A little bit of an air stamp there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But I'll be back, guys. I'm going to set these back into the case I got it, and I'll be back with the hollows, what you've been waiting for. Okay, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we got the holographics. We're going to start off um from higher number down to number one so this card should be yeah zapdos so here is a thick stamp zapdos shadowless uh i got most of these cards for i got a lot of them for under 200 bucks um some of them this was definitely under 200 bucks uh some of them were about 250 and then there were some obviously that you know 
like Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur that are more than that. But I'll go through them and I'll tell you where I got these. I think I got this one on eBay as well. Uh, so let's uh, let's put it. Let's make a stack like that right there in the middle. Next up, we got Venusaur number fifteen. So that was number 16, this is number 15 in the set. This is a thin stamp. So there's finally something I could show you. There's a thin stamp you could tell by the number one. I used to think this was a thick stamp because the black was so thick, like on the, um, but it was actually the, it's actually the number one that they're referring to when you hear that reference. So just so you guys know. So that's huge. Uh, I'll probably keep that one there. We got a Raichu thin stamp. I want to say I got this on eBay as well. Got a lot of the cards on eBay. Uh, let's put that like that. We got Polyrath, number 13. Love that card. I remember getting a Polyrath from my cousin when I was a kid. <laughs> I think I forced him to trade it. I don't really know what I gave him. I don't know. I probably had a double of something. Um, but man, thinking back as a kid, how you got your cards is just so funny. <laughs> Some of the things you gotta do. Nine tails. <laughs> oh, thinking about the story, how I got how I got a nine tails as a kid is pretty funny in elementary. I'm not gonna share it, <laughs> but it's pretty funny. All right, here we go. We got uh Nittle King. Is that thin stamp? I think it's a yeah, that might be thin. Uh wait, is it? Might be thin. It's kind of like in between. That was a weird one. Here's a good one. U2. This is a thick stamp. Uh, this one was. This one was a little pricey. I think I paid. It was under 250. I want to say I paid like 230 maybe. Somewhere around that. Maybe a little less. Can't remember exactly, but it was worth it. I mean, this was a pretty good eight. I mean, there really was not much going on with this eight. I mean, at all. There's like some factory chip white, but I don't know. If I wanted to regrade this, it could probably get a nine, but I'm not gonna do that. I kind of like having a strong eight. Although nine would be better, but here's a Magneton. Probably the cheapest one. I don't know what I paid for this, 120 bucks. <laughs> I got it for a good deal. I think I got it on eBay as well. Maybe it was a little more than that. I think I got the Magneton and the nine tails from the same guy. I did a bulk uh, little, well, I wouldn't say bulk, but did a little bundle deal on that. So, oh, here's a cool one. So this one, I have variants of it. So this is the actually, this is the um, the, two, the 2000 PM two player CD-ROM Machamp Hollow Cosmo. This one has the Cosmo hollow foil. This came in the base set to uh, starter deck. So I wanted to get all the variants of most of the cards. So I'll, let me set this one down. So that's that one. We also have the regular old normal Machamp that used to come in the two-player deck from base set. Cards worth cards are worth like nothing. I think I got this for like 20 bucks or less. I think it was less. I want to pay maybe 15. <laughs> They're not worth a lot, especially in PSA 8. But this is just your run-of-the-mill Machamp that everybody had, that everybody thinks is expensive because it has the first edition symbol. Pretty funny. So there's that. And I have another variant. We got the Shadowless Machamp. This is the true first edition. Like, if I'm going to keep any of my collection, it's this one right here. So, this one's pretty good. I got this one cheap. I mean, they usually run for 55 bucks, maybe. Um, I think I got this one for, like, 30 um, And I had another one I sold. I think I sold it for, like, 60 bucks. So, made some money back on this one. So, that was nice. It's always nice when you can pay for your hobby. So, that's awesome. I love that card. Very nostalgic. I remember having it as a kid. Actually, let me put those back. Oop, sorry guys, bumped the camera. Okay, we're gonna get closer to the good stuff. So Hitmonchan, probably the best hollow as far as playing the game. I mean, jab with one energy for 20 at a 70 HP for a basic Pokemon, this this card is killer. So I play this card in my base, uh, in my base set deck. Love that card. Gyarados, this is another good one. This one I got from Dave and Adams, I believe. Um, the same guy I talked to. Um, I don't know if I should say his name or not, but anyways, I sent him an email and he gave me a good deal on this, so I was happy about that. And they do pretty quick shipping too. They use, uh, uh, I think they use UPS, yeah. 
So that was nice with delivery signature required. So I like it. Clefairy. This I got from, I want to say I got from Pallet Town Pokemon, if you're watching. Yeah, I think I got it from you, buddy. You gave me a decent price on it. I was willing to pay what you were asking. Um, so he sent this over. That was nice. Thank you. I'll confirm that. I'm pretty sure it was from Pallet Town Pokemon. Check them out on Instagram. I'll put that up there. Oh, here we go, guys. Charizard, number four. I wish he was number one because it would have been last, but I'll leave it here for you guys to look. But this one is a very strong eight. Um, let me see how close I can get without bumping the camera. There's just like a tiny little thing up there. I mean, you guys can see. This is kind of in the way. Sorry, guys. But the only thing that's holding it back maybe is like that little bit of white. But still, guys, it's like. A really nice card and there's no I'll try to hold it like this there's no surface scratches at all I'm trying to see if there's any um, chipping yeah there's no silvering like I don't really know how this one got an eight I mean I could probably crack the case and regrade it but I got this in a trade actually with a guy from the UK He's on Instagram. Uh, I think his Instagram name is Collectible Power. Collectible Powers, something like that. Sorry, buddy, if you're watching, I gotta check. My memory's not too great, but um, yeah, man, I've been talking to him for a while. He's a good guy. Um, know some of the guys with Ludkins, and I got in a trade. I think I traded a first edition Team Rocket box for this. Um, at the time, with the value, I think I had to give him a little cash on top. Now I think he's doing pretty well. The cat, you know, the box prices are spiking, so. Um, I think he made a good trade in the long run, but I love this card. I was willing to trade it to get this without having to spend, uh, you know, $3,000 or whatever it would have been. I think it's worth about 3000 now. Um, at the time it was down as low as like 2400 2500 So that was pretty awesome. We got Chansey. Big card in PSA 10, I think, but, um, yeah, PSA 8, there's tons of them out there, I think. So there's that. And I think we got Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise up next. Number two. Definitely an awesome card. What is that? Oh, got it off. It's a thin stamp, I believe. Rain Dance. Really uh, good Pokemon power. Pretty good deck. I've been battling against this deck, uh, like I was saying, with my Hitmonchan and Electabuzz deck, which is killer. This card, it's got the... That's what, that's what made it an eight right there. That one corner. Everything else is flawless. And I got this from David Adams as well. They had it up on... Um, I think they had it up on eBay. They had it up on their website. But I messaged him on the website and uh, put an offer in and he took it. So that worked out well. They must have got it pretty cheap <laughs> for what I got it for. So I'm sure they made out a little bit. So and last but not least, we got Alakazam. Love this card. Absolutely love this card. This was my... I think this was the last hollow I needed in my unlimited collection when I was a kid collecting everything. I think I was like in sixth grade. I really had not been collecting much at that point, sixth or seventh grade. And I was talking to some kid and he had, and he just gave it to me. So that was pretty cool. But this card, obviously I paid for, I want to say this was a more pricier of the hollow cards. I want to say it was above 200 bucks, maybe like 240, uh, man, uh, maybe less than that. But I was happy with the price. So there's that. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed that collection video. We don't do too many of those. Um, thank you for staying this whole time. I know it was a long video, but totally worth it, man. If you're if you're a big time collector and you like these cards and just want to get the nostalgia value. So there it is, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like and definitely subscribe if you're not. Hit the bell so you guys get notifications on all my videos. And I'll leave a little playlist at the end if you want to check out some of my actual vintage openings. All right, guys, this is Matt7Games, and uh, have a great day.